Hi guys, it's Katie from Yarn Society. Today we're gonna crochet the sweetest little reptile named Simon the Snake. He is worked up in worsted weight yarn and is about 19 inches long, but I'll show you how I like to wrap him up in his favorite sleeping position. We're gonna get started by going through supplies first and then we'll start crocheting together. For supplies, you can grab some worsted weight yarn. I'm using Shine Worsted by Knit Picks or We Crochet, an E three and a half millimeter crochet hook, two nine millimeter safety eyes, a yarn needle, some stitch markers, some pins for assembly, and then I have a pair of scissors, some polyfill stuffing, and then totally optional, you can grab a piece of felt, or these are actually called felt tees. They have an adhesive backing on them, and you can just cut a little sliver out for the tongue if you'd like. We're gonna start out by grabbing our yarn and our hook. We're gonna make the head. To start with the head for round one, we're gonna make five single crochet into a magic circle. If you don't know how to do a magic circle, we're gonna do a slip knot and chain two, and I'll show you how. To make a slip knot, you're gonna wrap the yarn around two fingers, crisscrossing at the top. You can hold that yarn tail with your ring finger and then push that back piece to the front. Pull up on that back piece of yarn and then tighten it at the base. You can use your tail to adjust your loop. Insert your hook into the loop, tighten it up, and then get set up with your yarn. We are going to chain two. Yarn over and pull through for chain one. Yarn over and pull through for chain two. We're gonna single crochet five times in the second chain from the hook. Insert your hook underneath that second chain, yarn over and pull through. You'll have two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through again. That's single crochet one. We're gonna go back to the same stitch and make single crochet number two. And then back to the same stitch and make single crochet three. Single crochet four. And then single crochet five. This is just a different way you can make a magic circle. And I have a video that goes a bit slower and I'll put all of them in the description box below. Just gonna tighten up that middle circle and we're gonna count our stitches. Here we have one, two, three, four, and five. And this bit here is just from our slip knot. So when we go move on to round two, we are going to go into our first V stitch here. Go ahead and grab a stitch marker. You can place it on the last stitch of the round, this is what I do, or you can place it on the first stitch of this, the next round. I know some people prefer that, so do whatever feels comfortable to you. For round two, we are going to increase five times around. So that is two single crochet into each stitch. So here I'm gonna place my hook under that first stitch and I'm gonna make two single crochets. Here is one. Here is single crochet two, and that is our first increase. I'm gonna move over to the next stitch and make another increase. Move over a stitch, and this will be our third increase. Move over for your fourth increase. And then I'm gonna make my fifth increase in the stitch with my stitch marker. You will have 10 stitches at this point. Go ahead and change your stitch marker to the last stitch of the round and then tighten up your circle because it is gonna open for the first few rounds. For round three, we're gonna make an increase in this first stitch. So make two single crochet into one stitch. And then we're gonna move over and make one single crochet. We're gonna continue this around. So we're gonna do another increase. Move to your next stitch and make one single crochet. Move over and make an increase. Then move over to make one single crochet. Increase. This is our fourth increase. And then make a single crochet 
And then we'll make our last increase. This is our fifth increase. And then a single crochet. At this point, you will have 15 stitches. You can tighten up that circle one last time and then change your stitch marker. For round four, we're gonna increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next two. We're gonna repeat this five times around. Here's increase one. And then we're gonna single crochet in the next two. Here's single crochet one, move over, single crochet two. Then here's our second increase. Single crochet one, single crochet two. Here is increase three. Single crochet, oops, one, and single crochet two. And then we have increase four. single crochet one and two and then our fifth increase our last one end with two single crochets at the end of round four you're gonna have 20 stitches change your stitch marker for round five, we're gonna increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next three stitches, and we'll repeat this five times around. My yarn is so slippery. Here is our first increase, single crochet one, move over, single crochet two, move over, single crochet three. Then we're gonna have our second increase, single crochet one, two, and three, and then I'm gonna let you do your increase, single crochet in the next three. At the end of round five, you will have 25 stitches. Go ahead and change your stitch marker. And then for round six, we're gonna increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next four stitches, and we'll be doing this five times around. Here's increase one, single crochet one, two, three, and four. Our second increase, single crochet in the next four here's our third increase single crochet in the next four and I'll let you continue that pattern Okay, at the end of round six, we will have 30 stitches. For round seven, we're gonna increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next five stitches. We'll be doing this five times around. Here's increase one, single crochet one, two, three, four, and five. Then we'll do our second increase single crochet in the next five stitches here's our third increase
single crochet in the next five stitches, repeating this pattern until the end. Okay, we're reaching our last single crochet. You should have 35 stitches at this point. We are gonna change our stitch marker. For round eight, we're going to single crochet around 35 stitches. So we're just gonna single crochet all the way around until we reach the end. Thank you guys for joining me on this crochet along for Simon the Snake. I wanted to let you know that I am gonna put instructions on fast forwarding or slowing down the video if you needed it. I'll put that in the description box below. And then I'm also going to put links to other videos that might be helpful if you're a beginner, a few magic circle videos, an invisible decrease. You can also check out the other videos that I have and I have a, a few crochet alongs as well if you wanted to look for a different amigurumi to work on next. If you have any suggestions of videos that you want to see in the future, just please drop me a note uh, down below and I will see what I can do. Okay, we're reaching the end of round eight and we should still have 35 stitches. Go ahead and change your stitch marker. For round nine, we are gonna do something a little different. We're gonna make one decrease, single crochet in the next five stitches. I'll go a little bit slower here and I'm also gonna link in the description box below my video on an invisible decrease. Here you wanna take your hook and go under the front loop of the first stitch, go directly under the front loop of the second stitch, yarn over, Pull that yarn through, you'll have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through. And that's your first invisible decrease. You wanna leave your yarn right up to your hook. You don't want it to be extra loose because then that will leave holes in your work. So now we're gonna make five single crochet here. Single crochet one. Two. Three four and five so now we're going to go and make another invisible decrease go under your front loop of the first stitch front loop of the second yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through then you're going to single crochet in the next five stitches Here is our third decrease. Single crochet in the next five stitches. Our fourth decrease. Single crochet in the next five stitches. Our fifth and final decrease, finish off with five single crochet. At the end of round nine, we will have 30 stitches. Moving on to round 10, we are going to make one decrease, single crochet in the next four. So we'll be repeating this, just knocking off one of those single crochet. 
So here's our first decrease. Single crochet in the next four stitches. Our second decrease. Single crochet in the next four stitches and then repeat this pattern till the end. The end of round 10 will have 25 stitches. Moving on to round 11, we are going to make one increase, single crochet in the next four stitches. So we're back to increasing now. Here is our first increase, two single crochet into the same stitch. Single crochet in the next four stitches. Increase two, single crochet in the next four stitches, and then repeat this for a total of five times. We will have 30 stitches at this point. Moving on to round 12, we're gonna increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next five stitches. Here is our first increase. Single crochet in the next five stitches, and then repeat this all the way around for five times total. At the end of this round, we'll have 35 stitches. Go ahead and change your stitch marker. For round 13, we're gonna increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next six. Here is increase one, single crochet in the next six stitches. Increase two, 
Then here is our second increase, single crochet in the next six, and then repeat this pattern until the end. We will now have 40 stitches. For round 14, we're gonna increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next seven. Here is our first increase, single crochet in the next seven stitches, and repeat this pattern for a total of five times. The end of round 14, we're gonna have 45 stitches. We're gonna take a little pause here to place the eye. So go ahead and grab another stitch marker so that we can put it in our working yarn so we don't lose our spot or get it unraveled. My pattern says to place two nine millimeter safety eyes between round 10 and 11. So what I like to do is see where the back of my stitch marker is. And I like to center that in the back. Now I'm just gonna take a pin so that I can count my rounds. So I have round one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And I'm just gonna place my pin between round ten and eleven. I'm just gonna double check here to make sure I'm right. And then I'm gonna grab another pin because I need to leave five stitches open in between my eyes. So I'm gonna leave two stitches open next to my pin, and then I will leave two stitches open on the other side. Now if you like your eyes a little closer or a little farther, farther apart, do whatever uh, makes you happy. So here's my safety eye. I'm just gonna pull out my pin and insert my eye. And if your stitches are really tight, it can be um, just a little bit of muscle work to get those in there. And do the same thing on the other side.
grab the backs of your safety eyes and what I like to do is use like a rocking motion and I do two clicks. So here I'm doing click one and two. And now that they're secure and they look good to me, we're gonna continue on to crochet. Round 15, we're gonna go back to decreasing. We are gonna make one decrease single crochet in the next seven stitches. Here is our first decrease. Remember to keep your yarn up next to your hook when making your decreases. You don't want it to be loose because that will cause holes in your work. Here we have single crochet seven. Then we have our second decrease, single crochet in the next seven stitches, and repeat this pattern until the end. Decrease, single crochet in the next seven stitches. At the end of this round, you should have 40 stitches. Change your stitch marker. For round 16, we're going to make one decrease, single crochet in the next six, and we'll be doing this five times around. Here is decrease one, single crochet in the next six stitches, decrease two, single crochet in the next six stitches and then repeat this until the end. At the end of this round, you should have 35 stitches. Just checking out to make sure everything is looking good. And we'll continue on to round 17. So 17 is a decrease, single crochet in the next five stitches, and we'll be repeating that five times around. Here is our first decrease, single crochet in the next five stitches, Decrease two, single crochet in the next five stitches and then repeat this until the end.
At the end of this round, you'll have 30 stitches. Go ahead and change your stitch marker. For round 18, we're gonna make one decrease, single crochet in the next four, and we'll be doing this five times. We'll make our first decrease, single crochet in the next four stitches, decrease two, single crochet in the next four, and then repeat this pattern until the end. At the end of this round, you will have 25 stitches. I'm gonna grab another stitch marker to put on my working yarn because we're gonna stuff the head just a bit. I like to stuff as I go, so I'm just gonna place a small amount here to get started. As I stuff, I like to leave um, a hole in the middle because that's where I like to add the stuffing after I continue crocheting, I add little by little into that hole that I've made in the middle. I'm just putting enough to get the shape of the head and I want to adjust my eyes so that the back of the safety eyes are straight and that they're not pulling from the filling on the inside. Change your stitch marker if you haven't already and we'll be moving on to round 19. For round 19, we're gonna make one decrease single crochet in the next three stitches and we'll be doing that five times around. Decrease one, single crochet in the next three stitches, and then repeat that all the way around making one decrease single crochet in the next three. At the end of round 19, we will have 20 stitches. I'm gonna add a little bit more stuffing so I'm gonna secure my working yarn and I just like to add bit by bit as I go along. So do whatever you like to do normally or if you're just beginning, I would suggest stuffing little by little. Moving on to round 20, we are going to decrease in the first stitch, single crochet in the next two stitches. Here is our first decrease, single crochet in the next two stitches, and then make a decrease, single crochet in the next two, two stitches until the end.
At the end of round 20, we will have 15 stitches left. I am just going to stuff a little bit more. So I'm going to secure that working yarn and add a little bit more stuffing. Moving on to round 21, we're going to make one decrease, single crochet into the next stitch. So here is the, our first decrease, single crochet, then make another decrease, and then a single crochet until the end. At the end of round 21, we're going to have 10 stitches left. This is your last chance to stuff and I'm pretty happy with my stuffing. So I'm going to continue on. We are going to make for round 22 decreases all around. So make a decrease and then you're going to move over and make another decrease until you reach the end. It's a little tricky at the end, but you can take out your stitch marker if it's in the way. Okay, at the end of this round, you're only gonna have five stitches left. So from here, we wanna leave a long piece of yarn because we wanna fasten off. So I'm gonna cut that off. I'm gonna yarn over by just yarning over my yarn and pulling it all the way through. Just going to give it a little tug at the end and then grab your yarn needle because we're going to close up this hole. Thread your yarn into your needle and then we're going to count our five stitches and I like to count backwards because it's easier for me to see. So we have one stitch that there is your fastened off so don't get confused with that. We have stitch one, two, three, four and then our fifth one is always a bit hidden. So there's your fifth V. That will be the first stitch that we'll be going into. So I'm going to take my yarn needle and go behind the front loop of that first stitch, pull it through. And then I'm going to go behind the front loop of that second stitch. I turn the head as I go because I like the stitch in front of me. So now I'm going to go behind the front loop of the third stitch. The fourth and then the fifth. I'm gonna pull this hole tight with my fingers, but I'm also gonna look and watch that hole as it's closing. Keep an eye on that hole. And then you're gonna place your yarn needle back through that hole. And once you place your yarn needle there, you'll notice that it opens up. Insert the needle. And then pull that tight. And that will close up that hole. And it'll leave your work flat. We will have it covered with our body, but it is a nice way to learn how to close your amigurumi pieces. I'm gonna weave that yarn through my head and then snip off the extra piece. You can put the head aside because we're gonna be working on the tail next. Okay, we're gonna be working on the body slash tail next. So take the same color yarn you used for the head we are gonna start out with three single crochet into a magic circle, so make one however you'd like, or you can start out with a slip knot, wrapping the yarn around two fingers, bringing that back piece to the front and pulling up on it to make a slip knot. From here, you can chain two, and then single crochet three times in the second chain from the hook. We will be increasing by one stitch for a few rounds, so this can get a little bit tedious, so just stick with me here. Okay, I'm gonna tighten up that middle hole, 
and I'm going to place a stitch marker on the last stitch of the round. For round two, we are going to increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next two. So you want to count your stitches to make sure you have three stitches. You won't be going into that first bit because that's the slip knot. You want to make sure you're going into the right stitch, the first V stitch. So here I'm getting my hook underneath that stitch, which can be a little rough. And then we're going to make one increase. I'm going to make a single crochet in the next stitch and then a single crochet into my last stitch. When you're working with small stitches and we're only increasing by one, the stitches can turn in on themselves so you want to make sure that you keep turning them the right way. So I'm going to change my stitch marker. At this point you'll have four stitches and moving on to round three we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches. So we're going to go into that first stitch and make a single crochet. Move over a stitch and make another single crochet. And then move over again and make a single crochet. In our last stitch we're going to make an increase. So place two single crochets into that last stitch. And again, just take your time, pause the video, slow it down if you have to. It can get a little crazy at this point. <laughs> you will have five stitches. Don't forget to tighten up that magic circle and change your stitch marker. That bit in the middle can also get in the way. So either tuck it in if you'd like, but I wouldn't suggest cutting it because you do need it to tighten up that magic circle. So for round four, we're going to increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next four. Make an increase in that first stitch. And then single crochet in the next four stitches. At this point you will have six stitches. For round five we're going to single crochet in the next five stitches and then make an increase. So in your next stitch make a single crochet, single crochet two, move over, single crochet three, single crochet four, and five. And in your last stitch you're going to make an increase. At this point you will have seven stitches and you can go ahead and change your stitch marker. For round six we're going to increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next six. It's getting a little bit easier because we're having a few more stitches to work with. Make sure you see that you use that stitch and you're going into that next one. All you have to do is pull up on your last stitch to see which one is taken. So here is an increase and then we'll single crochet in the next six stitches. We will have eight stitches at this point. You can change your stitch marker. For round seven, we're going to single crochet in the next seven stitches and then end with an increase. So single crochet in the next seven. and then end with an increase. At this point you'll have nine stitches and if this long piece of yarn is getting in your way at this point it's safe to go ahead and tuck it in. Round eight we're going to make an increase in the first stitch and then we're going to single crochet in the next eight stitches. Here is an increase and then single crochet in the next eight stitches. At 
At the end of round eight, we are gonna end with 10 stitches. For round nine through 83, we're gonna be single crocheting in the next 10 stitches. From here, you can count your rounds. It can be a bit tough to count your rounds when you're starting with such small increments of increases, but you also know that this is your round eight. So we can go from here. I do suggest using a stitch marker as we continue on and I'll show you that for the first round. Moving on to round nine, I just wanna show you how I can keep track of my rounds. Here, I'm going to start with a few stitches and then I'm gonna place a different colored stitch marker horizontally on one of my rounds. I'm gonna continue crocheting all the way to the end as normal. I do stuff about every four to five rounds and you can use the back of your crochet hook, a pair of sharp scissors, or the wooden stick that they give you in your polyfill bag. But do, don't forget to stuff because it kind of will be impossible to do later on. I'm gonna change my stitch marker and then I'm gonna start round 10. So I'm gonna show you here, I'm gonna do a few single crochet if I can get it together. Here is two, three, four, and five. And then I will show you when you continue going, you know that this is round nine because you marked it and this is round 10. And then you can continue on. When I get to about round 50, I place another stitch marker just so I don't have to keep counting down from round nine. So you can add as many stitch markers as you want. You can add none if you want. Um, it's totally up to you. You can make this tail short, longer, it really doesn't matter. Just don't forget to stuff every few rounds as you go. And don't worry about stuffing that tiny bit at the end. It's supposed to be made to kind of look like a uh, point of the tail. So go ahead and crochet all the way from round nine through 83. And I will meet you back at the end of 83. Okay guys, we have crocheted our hearts out. Here is our tail. We are done with round 83 and we should have 10 stitches still. We're gonna move on for two more rounds. So for round 84, we're gonna increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next four stitches. Here is increase one, single crochet in the next four stitches, increase two, and then single crochet in the next four stitches. You will have 12 stitches at this point. Moving on to round 85, our last round, we're gonna single crochet in the next five stitches and then make an increase. And we're gonna repeat this two times. So here we're gonna make five single crochet make one increase, and then go ahead and single crochet in the next five stitches. And then end with an increase. You're gonna leave a long piece of yarn for attaching and then we're gonna cut that off and fasten off. yarn over and pull that yarn all the way through and give it a tug at the end. I'm going to add a bit more stuffing here at the end and then we can go ahead and move on to our assembly next. We are going to start by attaching the tail to the head. So my pattern says to attach the tail to about round 19 and 20 of the head. So I'm going to count and find between round 19 and 20. And now this is just a guideline, so it's not set in stone. You can do what looks good to you, but I'm gonna place a bunch of pins around round 19 and 20. Once I get those pins in place, I'm gonna grab my tail and place it in right near those pins. And I think this actually looks like a good spot for me to attach, so I'm happy with this. Now I'm gonna take a few other pins and I'm gonna grab that stitch, any stitch, and I'm gonna pull it up to where my other pins are between round 19 and 20. I like to pin about every other stitch just so it's easier for me as I'm assembling the body. Now 
Okay, now that I'm all pinned in place and I like the way this looks, I'm gonna grab my yarn needle and I'm gonna thread it through my working yarn. For attaching, I'm gonna go through a stitch of the head starting in that round between round 19 and 20. And I'm gonna pull that all the way through, making sure that's tight. And then I'm gonna go through that first stitch of the tail. So go underneath both loops of that stitch and pull it tight all the way through. Now you're gonna move over into a stitch of the head, pull that all the way through and then go through a stitch of the body. We are gonna continue this all the way around going through a stitch of the head and a stitch of the body. You can grab a stitch or two of the head if you need to, but make sure that you do not skip a stitch of the body. If you skip a stitch, things will look a bit off and you'll have to go back and redo it. So continue going through a stitch of the head and then a stitch of the body. Here I'm reaching my last stitch of my tail and I'll show you a little trick that I like to do for my last stitch. So I'm gonna pull it through the stitch of the tail and I'm gonna go slow because I wanna make a little loop. And once I have that loop, I'm gonna place my yarn needle behind the loop. And then I'm gonna pull that needle through. I'm gonna give it a little tug. I like to go back and forth and that makes a knot. I'm gonna put my yarn needle as close to the knot as possible and then I'm gonna weave that through and the knot will get pulled right into the head. From here, weave in your yarn into your head as best as you can, and then we can just snip off that extra piece of yarn. Okay, so Simon's basically done. Now is the time where we can add a little fun mouth to Simon the Snake. Here is something called felties. I just cut a small piece and then made a little upside down V with my scissors. This has a little sticker backing. Um, if you were to sell this or give this to a child, it'll probably fall off. But if you wanted to add a little fabric glue or something, that might stay on a little better. And if you wanted to stitch on a little piece of felt, that would be great too. This just gives Simon a different fun little pop of color and a different look to him. Now to wrap our little friend up if you didn't want to keep him with his tail long. To wrap up your snake, you want to hold the head straight up and lay the tail in front of his head. Then you're going to loop the tip of the tail around and weave it under his body. So I'm just going to grab with my other hand the tip of the tail and I'm just gonna pull that through. His head automatically doesn't stay up, so what I've done is either grabbed a little bit of fabric glue or put a few stitches to keep his head up. I hope you like Simon the Snake as much as I do. I know any little kiddo would love this guy. I know mine sure does. So if you'd like to see more crochet tutorials and crochet alongs, please subscribe to my channel and also head over to yarnsociety.com for free crochet patterns.